Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Biddle, aka Zayforn in Roblox, and welcome back to another YouTube video. And today I'm going to be explaining why I hack. Okay, let's just clarify this real quick. I don't actually hack, I don't exploit, it's just how I play. But I completely understand why people think I do, because the way I move and stuff in the game is just almost unnatural compared to like most people. So today I'm going to explain my history, and how I learned to play the way I play. Okay, let's just start with this fact. I've been playing Roblox a long time now. And I can officially say that. It's been on and off for 10 years, which is honestly, I, I probably need to stop. But mind you, there was a pretty big gap from when I actually came back to Roblox on the Zayforn account in 2018. And late 2018 at that. So when I came back in 2018, there was two main games I would play. Zombie Rush and Catalog Heaven. And I absolutely loved Catalog Heaven. If you don't know what Catalog Heaven is, it's basically this game where you can go in there and you can use every single Roblox gear that's ever been made, even Teapot Turret. I don't think it works the exact same way the real one did at the time, but it's really, really cool. And around the time I started playing the game, around 2017 I'd say to 2019 there was this big underground PvP scene. And I learned a few tricks from my friend Epic Scar, which was a long time ago now. But I got good at the game, and I got better and better at it. I wasn't necessarily great at the PvP itself, but my speed and ability to make a quick decision is what gave me the advantage. You see, in this game, every single second counted. Every little action you did really did matter. Let's say you were in a sky fight, right? And you wanted to take your gigantic bat wings and go upwards so you have the height advantage, but you didn't want to risk someone having a chaos edge and knocking off your bat wings. I know half the people watching this aren't going to understand what the hell I just said, but those were the kind of decisions you had to make. You had to figure out whether it was worth taking a life or death risk in a split second. You didn't have time to think about it. And as I kept playing the game, my ability to do that just kept getting better and better. Eventually that game got taken over by a group of shitty exploiters, but let's not get into that. So when that game eventually died due to the exploiters, I moved to a new game. Oh, I also quit Zombie Rush around the same time due to me having a somewhat weird connection with the developers and they did something shitty. Yeah, we're not gonna go into that either. Then I started playing a new game that my friend recommended to me. Jailbreak. This game was so much fun. I really enjoyed playing this game. And then they came out with seasons and I started grinding them. And the snowball just kept on rolling until it just got way too big. My transition from Catalog Heaven to Jailbreak was actually pretty easy, believe it or not. Despite the different mechanics, my speed maintained in Jailbreak. Not necessarily my skill using the guns and all that, but I was still pretty good. And then they started adding more PvP things. They added the sniper, which oh boy, that was awesome time. They added flintlock, they added all of these things that made PvP more interesting, and people actually started getting into PvP side of Jailbreak once all these things started rolling out. I mean, there was before, like I said, but it just got more popular. And I was a, I was a little sweaty boy, okay? I really liked tryharding these games, and I eventually just got to a point where I was just really good at the game. And then, I quit, because... Yeah, it's jailbreak. It got boring, okay? In fact, I literally quit Roblox. The entire game just got so boring for me, and I just took a long break from the game itself. But I eventually came back, as every Roblox player does. And it was a lot of fun, and I came back to jailbreak. I was a lot more involved with the community. You know, I had a lot of friends that would join me, and we would be just a large gang of people. Just going around robbing places, killing cops, you know, the usual. It just got to the point where me and my friends just got really, really good at the game. And then I got bored of it again. <laughs> and then I just kind of stopped playing Roblox again. I mean, I would come on, you know, I'd play the little simulators and stuff. I'd get on sometimes on other games with my friends. But I wouldn't really play Jailbreak or any specific game. Fast forward a bit later, and I mean a good bit, and my friend shows me this wonderful game called Fling Things. Now this game was awesome. It still is awesome. Go play it. It was almost, if not identical to Catalog Heaven, the mechanics sense, the movability of it, everything about it just reminded me of Catalog Heaven days. And the only real difference with Fling Things was that it actually had a good developer. I even met the developer once or twice, and I didn't even know it was him until someone else in the game said oh my god it's the creator but yeah i really started playing this game a lot and i mean a lot i would play this game like i think every day or every other day it was just so much fun and this game really brought out my old days of catalog heaven back i just got so fast and so efficient 
that literally almost nobody can kill me. Even now when I play the game sometimes, nobody can really kill me. Now that I actually have things going on in my life and I've moved on past from actually taking games seriously, it makes me even better at the game, believe it or not. Because now when I play any of these games, I don't really care about winning or losing. I just have fun. And that's my biggest secret. When you really truly don't care about winning or losing, that's when the game just gets so much easier. It's because you don't have the pressure on your mind of if you're gonna win a battle, if you're gonna lose a battle, etc. It really does make you an unstoppable beast. And that's the story. That's how I am not an exploiter. So please, God, stop calling me one.